All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on how to do today's worksheet, density practice worksheet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and work on one problem in particular. There's going to be a variety of problems. I'm either asking you to find density, find mass, or find volume. After having done the bell ringer, you should know how to manipulate the formula so that you can find either one. So let's go ahead and take a look at number six. Number six reads, the density of lead is 11.342 grams per milliliter. What would the volume of a 200 gram sample of this metal, or what would it be? Okay, so they're asking me to find volume. And that's another reason why volume happens to be in bold letters. <clears throat> so if I'm trying to find volume, I know that volume is going to equal to mass over density. Okay, and as you're showing the work, that's exactly what I want you to show. So we'll go ahead and do it on the paper itself. So volume equals mass over density. Okay, so um, I find what mass is. There's two numbers that are given to me. There's this one and there's this one. I could either read what it's telling me it is, or I can simply look at the units. This is telling me that it's the density, but then again, now I can also look at the units and know that grams per milliliter stands for density. So that's going to be down here. This number, it says, what would the volume of a 200 gram sample of this metal, or what would be the volume of a 200 gram sample? Well, it doesn't tell me it's mass, but because this number has a G behind it, this is telling me that this is mass. So therefore, I'm going to write 200 grams divided by 11.342 grams per milliliter. Something I, I need to remember as well, remember you're rounding with significant figures. So in reality, it reads 200.0 grams. Okay, so I'm going to divide those two. When I divide the two, I get an answer that looks like this. 17.6335733. Okay, I want to make sure that I round it to the correct number of significant figures. So uh, when you divide numbers, you have to look at the one number that has the least significant figures. This one happens to have one, two, three, four significant figures. This one has one, two, three, four, five. So my answer is going to have four significant figures. So starting from left to right, I'll write one, seven, point, that's two significant figures. Six would make it three, and then the three. And the three behind the three will not round it up. So there's my four significant figures. It would be 17.63. As far as the unit goes, these grams cancel each other out and I'm left with milliliters, which makes sense because volume is expressed in milliliters. Okay, so this is what I want you to do when you're um, doing the problems on this page. I want you to show the work just like I did here. I know you guys are gonna tell me, but the work is done in the calculator. Granted, it is. As you could see, I did it in the calculator, but I also want you to express it on the piece of paper right in front of you. In addition, make sure that you write your number or your answer in significant figures and that right behind it, you go ahead and place the correct unit. All these little things, um, if you forget them, you're going to end, end up uh, losing points from it. And um, those are points that you really don't want to lose. Okay, that's it.